G'day guys, uh, welcome to my quiz practice questions for Cisco. Today we're going to be talking about IPv6. Uh, excuse the uh, delay between videos. Uh, I've been very busy uh, with university and also getting uh, full-time work. So I'll eventually make an introduction video and uh, explain my situation and stuff. But yeah, it'll be pretty tough to upload regular videos, but I'll get stuck into this one anyway. So today will be IPv6. And first question for today, which of the following is the IPv6 equivalent to 127.0.0.1? So that's the IP4 equivalent uh, of the local host. So the answer for this one is C. As you can see, uh, it's got the double columns and the one. Essentially, that means there's 31 zeros behind that with 32 uh, total binary digits for that one. 73, your manager has been hearing a lot about IPv6 addressing and asks you which of the following statements are true about IPv6 unicast addresses and they want to, to select to. And uh, looking through these, uh, these lot of questions, it seems to be more about memory, more so things are what they are. So there's not really too much technical knowledge behind it. But uh, looking at this one, the answer is uh, B and E. So the loopback address, as we know, is uh, the double colon and the one, and that was explained earlier. And more or less, the global address starts with 2000. It's plain and simple what it is. 74, which of the following is an example of an IPv6 link local address? Uh, luckily, I have a good memory here. So we've got four options here, and uh, my memory serves me pretty correct. The answer is B. The only thing, essentially, it starts with FE, and then 80 is uh, a link local address. 75, your manager has asked you what are some of the benefits of transitioning from IPv4 to IPv6 are. And again, these two are more or less just a memorization. The answers are B and E, no broadcast messages and automatic configurations. Uh, just the changes that come along with it, no real yeah, brilliant uh, uh, way to explain that. Uh, 76, uh, your managers, lots of managers here, is evaluating IPv6 transitioning technologies and is wondering which IPv6 tunneling method encapsulates the IPv6 data into an IPv4 user datagram to travel over the internet and can pass through NAT devices. What well, a big one there. And got a few options here. The answer is C, Torito. And quite simply here, Torito is an IPv6 tunneling protocol that can be used to encapsulate IPv6 into IPv4 packets that can travel over the IPv4 internet. 77, you are evaluating how you're going to slowly transition to IPv6. What three techniques can be used to allow migrating from IPv4 to IPv6? I choose three as stated right there. Again, it's more or less just a memorization. And these three are B, D, and E, the translation between IPv6 and IPv4, use of stack, dual stack routing, and use tunneling protocols. Question 78, what IPv6 address type is similar to an IPv4 private IP address and starts with FC00? And got to link local, which we covered earlier. It's not really relevant here. Loopback, as we saw, is the uh, double column with the one. Global address, we shall see. And the answer is D, which is unique local address. And this is just similar to what an IPv4 private address would be. And it happens to start with FC00. And that is all for today, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging around and listening in to me rant on about Cisco practice questions and those answers to those. So don't forget to check out my other Cisco videos. I've got a few labs and a few other computer related videos. So don't forget to check those out. Subscribe as well. It'd be fantastic. Like the video, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for hanging around guys. I'll see you all next time.